Hello. In this video, I'll show you the different exposure modes available in the Cinema P3 Pro camera app, including using the shutter speed and ISO controls to set exposure manually. Plus, I'll show you the new exposure meter tool and how to use the spot, center weighted and matrix metering modes. Tap the tools button to display camera settings. Ensure that the camera settings tab is selected. There are three exposure modes, center, spot and manual. The center exposure mode adjusts ISO and shutter speed automatically by analyzing the center of the image to determine the exposure. An exposure bias button can be used to make manual adjustments to the automatic exposure. In spot mode, you can adjust the region of the image used to determine exposure. Drag the spot to move it. Spot mode is used to select the exposure point of interest. In manual mode, there are controls for manually adjusting ISO and shutter speed. Shutter speed is adjusted by adjusting shutter angle. Shutter angle is a way of setting shutter speed relative to frame rate. For cinematic video, a shutter angle of 180 degrees is often used as it produces a desirable amount of motion blur. 180 degrees produces a shutter speed that is half the frame rate. So if the frame rate is 30 frames a second, the shutter speed is 1 60th of a second. When the manual exposure mode is selected, there is an option called exposure meter. The exposure meter is a tool that assists setting exposure manually and also provides three automatic metering modes to adjust ISO and shutter speed automatically. The exposure meter is displayed when the shutter speed and ISO buttons are selected. The exposure meter samples over 200 points from each frame and displays the average luma value using a yellow marker. The scale indicates values from 0 to 100% and a target value for middle grey is indicated by the wide horizontal line at 40% on the scale. The blue needle indicates the amount of light reaching the camera. When the needle is pointing to the left, very little light is reaching the camera and high ISO and slow shutter speeds are required. When the needle is pointing to the right, a lot of light is entering the camera and low ISO and fast shutter speeds are required. The graphic at the top indicates the current metering mode. The M indicates manual metering mode. Tap the exposure meter and it will reveal four buttons which are used to select a metering mode. In addition to manual mode, there are three automatic metering modes, spot, center weighted, and matrix metering mode. The selected mode is highlighted in yellow. When operating in one of the automatic modes, the exposure meter samples the image and adjusts ISO and shutter speed to set the exposure. Since ISO and shutter speed are adjusted automatically, the manual ISO and shutter controls are not displayed. In matrix metering mode, the exposure meter samples 225 evenly distributed points within the image and automatically adjust the ISO and shutter speed to achieve the middle grey target. Center weighted metering mode samples light for the whole frame with additional weight given to the center of the image. In spot metering mode, a spot is displayed which can be manually positioned on the screen. The exposure meter only samples points inside the spot to calculate the average. The exposure meter has additional settings that provide some manual adjustment for the automatic modes. Adjustment speed controls how quickly the exposure meter adjusts to changes in light levels. Maximum shutter angle control is used to set the maximum shutter angle. The default value is 180 degrees, but this can be varied between 30 and 340 degrees. The bias control is displayed when the ISO button is selected. It can be adjusted from minus 2 to plus 2 and is used to offset the target used by the exposure meter. 
when in center weighted metering mode, show center weight will display the location of the center weight on screen. This can be repositioned to choose which area of the screen receives additional weight. Compare the image exposure using center exposure mode with the matrix metering mode of the exposure meter. There is a difference with the exposure meter underexposing compared to the center exposure mode. In this example, diffuse white is being exposed at 200 nits. This ensures that specular highlights, like the light reflecting off the vase, are captured. This is important when recording 10-bit HLG in order to capture the high dynamic range of the scene. When also used with C or D log, colour information is stored more efficiently and better looking images can be obtained when colour grading in HDR projects.